and you've heard my story. Without going in great detail, in 1993, I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. I was tired of being hopeless. I was tired of being depressed. I was tired of being able, not being able to see my future. I was tired of, of not, not being able to see, God, what plan do you have for my life? How am I gonna get there? I, there's something in me that's crying out to you and I don't know how to get it, but yet I keep making the wrong decisions. I keep going the wrong direction, but God, I, if you're real, I need you. And you know the story. Some of you know the story. If you don't, I had a respiratory disease at 19 years of age. And I heard, I heard his voice because I said, God, if you're real, I need you. That was, even though I might not have been a widow at the time, there were things in my life that I had lost. I had lost my health. I had lost, lost direction. I had lost, I had lost focus. I had, I had lost any sense of what is my life about? but yet I had enough on the inside of me that I know that if God is real, he's the one that has the answer. And I cried out to him. I said, God, if you're real, I need to know that you're real. And I cried out in that moment. And I said, God, if you're real. And all of a sudden, just plain as I heard this voice on the inside of me saying, tell me you love me. Tell me you love me. Started saying, I love you. I love you, I love you. I started, to, I started to sweat a little bit and I had a high fever and I couldn't breathe. And, 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 and all of a sudden, I was like, this is crazy. I'm talking to myself. I'm hearing things, I'm talking to myself. I can't breathe. But yet I cried out again. I cried out again. I was like, God, if you're real, I need you. And I heard that voice again, said, turn away from the TV and tell me you love me and don't stop. I've told you this, that I say, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I don't know how long I said that, but it went from I love you to I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love, you see, the faith in me, I didn't know anything about faith. I hadn't been taught anything about faith. But yet I knew where my help was. And I cried out, God, if you're real, I need you. And it went from I love you, I, I love you, Lord, to it went from I love you to I love you, Lord. 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 And next thing you know, I, my fever broke. And all of a sudden now I could breathe, 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 <laughs> breathe. And, 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 and I got up and started doing some sort of dance, that I, something I hadn't seen. But, but I'm telling you, when you, you couldn't breathe and all of a sudden now you can breathe, What, that was me releasing my faith. I was crying out to him. And I'm telling you, God had to bear long with Justin. I, God is a God of long suffering. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. And I'm telling you, even though things in my life didn't all in the natural, all of a sudden turn around. Yes, my physical body did, but yet what about the hopelessness? What about my destiny? What about my future? That day, all of a sudden something came into me that day because I, my, relationship was no, my relationship with God wasn't established on what my mama or my dad had experienced with God, but now it was something that I experienced myself. Yeah. You cannot live a life of faith on. on someone else's experience. You have to pursue God. And I'm telling you, when you pursue God, I'm telling you, he will show up in the midst of the adversity that you're going through and he will avenge you of your adversary. On that day, he avenged depression. He avenged sickness. He, he, he avenged hopelessness in my life. I came, out of that situ I came out of that situation, went back home to because uh, my parents lived about an hour away and I was working at a liquor store at the time. I went back to the liquor store and I went and gave my notice and I said, today, I said, I'll give my two weeks notice. And, and they were like, well, what happened? I said, I said, I'm saved. God healed my body because they knew I was battling sickness. And I said, God healed my body. And they were like, um, today can be your last day. <laughs> <laughs> And then, so I didn't even say anything to my parents. I didn't, I didn't even say anything to my mom. And, and all of a sudden I came up, she goes, uh, she goes, well, Justin, would it, um, I, I said, well, aren't you going to work? I said, uh, no, I, um, I, I left my job today. She goes, what happened? And I didn't even, she didn't even know I got healed at this time necessarily. 
She knew something was different. But also, I said, Mom, I'm moving to Salisbury, Salisbury, Maryland. I said, that's, that's, that's where I'm going to go. And she was, well, what are you going to do for a job? And this is what came out of me. If God can heal me, he sure can find me a job. Well, what are you going to do about all, all your friends and all your relationships? Well, if God can heal me, he can sure find me a new set of friends. Because, see, but there wasn't, I, I didn't necessarily have the word. I knew about Jesus. But the issue is faith was, couldn't be mechanical. It has to be relational. And we'll get into that. Hear what the unjust judge said, and shall not God avenge his own elect who cry, day and, cry out day and night to him, though he bears long with you? I tell you that he, he will avenge them speedily. It, it doesn't need to take 20 years. Restoration can happen in a moment. You can get direction in a moment. He can set you on a, nor, a, a new course this afternoon and all of a sudden your life has changed in a week. Amen. See, the enemy would like you to think you've got to sort of pay some sort of penance for all your mistakes that you made in the past. But I'm telling you, when you cry out to him in faith and he's the one you're seeking, he's the one, it's not just, it wasn't just me seeking him because I was in trouble. It was like I would finally got to the end of Justin. Because trust me, that time when I stole the car and I'd broken into the cars and the police were chasing me and I'm down in a ravine and I've got cop lights shining over my head. You know what? I got real spiritual real fast. I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm laying, I'm, I was not planning to tell the story. So I was sitting there and I'm, and I was at a dealership, and, and see, if you go to the used car dealership, that's where they would have the, the good stereo systems, and so I would break into the cars and, and, and steal the stereo systems. And... and so, so, so I'm standing there, and all of a sudden, my friend goes, 5-0. I run. I fall down this ravine and I'm sitting there and I'm going, oh Jesus, if you get me out of this, I will serve you all the days of my life. Oh God, I will serve you all the days. If you get me out of this, I'm waiting there and I have this J. Crew bar brown barn jacket over my head and I'm going, oh Jesus, oh. And my th first thing is I don't want my parents to find out if my parents find out. And uh and also, I, wait, I don't know how long I waited, but finally, I just stopped hearing stuff. This was about three in the morning. And, and all of a sudden, I just, I was like, I, was like, I just got to go. And we had our, our getaway car was across the street. This is, this is on Route 50. Route 50 goes from Ocean City, Maryland, all the way to Sacramento, California. 3,067 miles. It's a major uh, Route 50 in Maryland. And I'm, and I'm running across. It's, 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 it's three lanes across to the other side. And as I'm running all of a sudden, there was a telephone pole that was in the grass, and I hit it, running as fast as I can. Did a nosedive. I get up, and I'm, my adrenaline, I get up, I hop in the car, my friend Kevin looks at me, he goes, what happened to you? I had blood going all down my face. But I was like, thank God for mama's prayers, because... See, and I cried out to God. That was the point of the story. I cried out to God, but, but it was, my cry out to God was just so I didn't get in trouble. But three years later, I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. And now it was a cry of faith. That when it was a cry of faith, he reached in and pulled me out. 